These three sounds are the only three sounds that the human system is capable of. Other sounds are only a mixture of this. You just experiment with yourself. If you remove this tongue or if you just keep it still, not using it, you will see the only three sounds that you can utter are a, u and n, the only three sounds you can make without the tongue. Tongue is being used to mix these three sounds and produce all the other manifestations of sounds. Mixing them in permutations and combinations, you can produce millions of sounds. So these three sounds are known as the basic sounds or the fundamental sounds in the existence. The whole existence is a reverberation. This is modern science. It's a vibration of energy. Where there's a vibration, there is bound to be a sound. Where there is a sound, there is creation. So all these sounds are a manifestation of these three sounds. These three are the root sounds. So in India, we have this thing that for children, we teach the sound ah. That's why amma, appa, this one, that one, whatever. Everything is ah, 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 because ah is the basic sound. And this not in one language, across the world, everywhere sound ah is the basic sound. So these three sounds, if you utter them, they have different things happening in the body. These three sounds are the only three sounds that exist in the system naturally. All other sounds you can produce by mixing. If you utter these three sounds carefully, if you sit in a certain way and utter these three sounds, you will notice if you utter a, ah, it carries the reverberation right across the body. It starts just about three-fourths of an inch below the navel and takes it right through the body because this is the only place where in the energy system, as there is a physical body, there's an energy body. This energy body comprises of seventy-two thousand nadis. These seventy-two thousand nadis meet only at one place, that is just beneath the navel. So this is the maintenance center in the body, this is known as a Manipuraka in the yoga. This is the maintenance center, even when you were in your mother's womb, your maintenance pipe was connected right here. So this is the sound ah. If you say ah, it spreads right across the body. These sounds have also been identified or ascribed to different forms of divinity. This is Vishnu's sound, his maintenance. You know, among the three forces of Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva, Brahma is the creator, Vishnu is the maintenance person, Shiva is the destroyer. These are three fundamental processes in creation. Sound A is concerned with maintenance. So people who are seeking well-being start off A, there are yogis who simply sit here and do mm, nothing else because they are not interested in that. They're just interested in destroying the limitations of who they are, nothing else. So the nadis themselves carry reverberations. If you utter O, oh, the sounds will spread in a certain way. If you utter M, mm, they spread in a different way. These three sounds are capable of touching all the seventy-two thousand nadis. For every sound, we can make you conscious as to which part of the body touches. Which nadi will become active when you utter a certain sound? If you say, hey, what happens in the body? You know, I'm… very rudimentary sounds I'm using when you're meditating, I say, hey, that's all. <laughs> because every sound activates a certain dimension of your energy system. So these three sounds together as a combination activates the whole system because these are the three fundamental sounds. Sounds can be used for well-being, for health. Just uttering… Uh, I don't know if they've recognized that, but if you… Uh, if he goes on singing many ragas, I will tell you, if you sing this raga, your blood pressure will go down. You understand? Right now, I don't know the names of the raga, I'm completely ignorant of those things, but if he sings various ragas, I will tell you, this raga, if you sing, your blood pressure will go down right now. Sounds are creating not only emotions, they also are changing the very chemistry of your system. So what kinds of sounds you're exposed to does various things to you, or what kinds of sounds you are generating also produces… does various things to you. Why? One of the first things that you do, if you want to go on spiritual sadhana, first thing is shut up. Because stop uttering all the ugly sounds, just shut up. You just stop talking, so many things about you will change. Simply because you are no more causing the damage. 
by uttering wrong sounds.